All right, so you wanna know what a CPU is. Now, this is a part of a series of videos that I've made to help really explain and build a foundation for a lot of the other videos that you find on Don't Tech With Me. So today we're talking about what is a CPU? And as always, this is specifically for graphic designers and creative professionals. Now you're watching the show, Don't Tech With Me. And if you are a graphic designer or a creative professional trying to understand the technical terms of laptops and the computer industry so you can make a qualified purchase decision or just know more about your gear, then you're in the right place. So consider subscribing and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. We're now gonna jump over to some slides, just kind of talk through this quickly and simply. So let's rock and roll. All right, so the first thing is, what is a CPU? Well, a CPU is a central processing unit of the computer. It is the chip that performs instructions and moves information around to each major component of the computer. So, you know, the GPU, the storage of your computer, those types of things. And if you want to know more about those components within a computer, you can head over to different playlists that will be building on the channel and get more information on those. So simply put, it's the brain of the computer. It's located on the main circuit board or known as the motherboard. Uh, and so that is where it rests and that is where it's the command center. That's where it takes place. All right, so the CPUs are built by placing a billion little transistors, as you see here, onto a computer chip. Now the transistors allow the CPU to make calculations and to run programs stored on the computer's storage system, uh, most commonly known as solid state drive or hard disk drive. All right, now what does a CPU do? So a CPU takes instructions from programs and applications stored on your computer's SSD or HDD. The CPU is what allows you to open a program, watch a video, export your footage out of Premiere Pro, or touch up an image in Photoshop. So the command process that takes place is fetch, so it goes out, it finds the information, decode, it understands what that information is, and then from there, it executes on that information. So the CPU works with your computer's RAM, random access memory, to fetch the instructions, and then it decodes the instructions telling the CPU what to do. Then the CPU acts on those instructions and then it calls to action either itself to create the function and, and take action, or it goes and it finds another computer, compo another computer component like a GPU uh, to then activate that function. So in most systems, the CPU does not do everything. As technology develops and things continue to improve more and more, we've had more dedicated computer components that take over more heavy lifting from the CPU. So for instance, when you're video editing and you're watching your footage in the timeline, uh, during playback, what you'll see is if when you open up, say, your task manager on Windows, you'll see that the CPU takes less power and the GPU starts taking more power. And so that way the CPU can do other tasks within your system. So the GPU supports the CPU, say, when you're editing your footage in Premiere Pro or you're rendering footage in Premiere Pro, for instance. So now the question is, is the CPU the most important part inside your computer? Not necessarily. Now it is responsible for the overall performance of your computer. So by having a faster processor, it does not always equal a faster computer, but the processor is responsible for executing commands within the programs. So if you do have a faster processor matched with better RAM and better GPU, then the faster processor can send information at a quicker rate to those different components in your computer and it will improve the overall performance of your laptop. So that's why I always say it is a mix of components that makes for a great computer, not just having one component that is the absolute best power on the market. All right, so now that we know what a CPU is, what is a CPU comprised of? So you'll see a lot of terms like base clock, turbo clock, you'll see the gigahertz of a processor, you'll see the amount of cores or threads. I wanna make specific videos on these topics that way we don't pack too much information into one video. If you've enjoyed this and it's brought you some value and you've learned a bunch here, definitely consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future content. Specifically, if you're a creative professional who doesn't wanna miss out on the daily tech news or technical terminology happening inside of your gear. I'll see you in the next episode.